Hey everyone, it's Image Rex, and I had recently stumbled onto the idea of what would you do if you could make a change to RuneScape, or what would you do to possibly improve RuneScape? And I was thinking about it for a while, and I I actually think that RuneScape needs a little bit more of a hype now. Um, it's been kind of I want to say it's been it's been kind of low lately as compared to when the wild came out or came back and free trade came back and uh the ritual of the module quest came out and i was just you know thinking about uh how to possibly make it more um more more interesting to the runescape community i guess so so one of the things that i i want to see happen are um a new skill come out now, a new skill hasn't come out in RuneScape since Dungeoneering, and that was... Sorry, I'm, I'm reaching across for something really quickly. Okay. Um, new skill hasn't come out since Dungeoneering, and I'm pretty sure that was a year and a half ago almost now. So, they they really should add that to the game. Now, it's not as easy as I'm saying, just boom, add that to the game. But... uh. I really think it would be one of those things where if they did and they made it nice that uh, RuneScape would actually get a lot more of maybe new players, old players type of thing. Probably more people would be searching it. It would come up more often in searches. And uh, I, I guess give it more of a pu publicity kind of thing. Now the hard thing about a new skill is obviously how long it takes to make one. Now if they haven't been making it already, then that are kind of uh, behind, <laughs> in my opinion. And and I don't actually just want to see like a new skill thrown into the game. Uh, I really don't want to see a new skill thrown into the game that's like fire making. That would be the most depressing uh, moment ever. But what I do want to see is a new skill that integrates like a, a new map I guess now if you look at the map currently there's the land of Gleanior or Gelenor I, I don't remember and as as Garnia I, I don't remember the full names but uh, the whole runescape map it takes up uh, not not too much space actually I've personally explored I think mostly everything on the map um, there have been some places that I haven't been to, like uh, in Dungeoneering, there's a couple of floors I haven't been to. But for the majority of uh, of it, I do know where where everything is. Um, I could probably lay down a map and and draw. I could probably I could probably put out a piece of paper and draw the RuneScape map. I, I've been there everywhere so, so often. Now, the thing that I don't like about that is there's nothing really new that you can uh, throw in there. You can put some new content in, but then RuneScape starts to get a little bit crowded. When Dungeoneering came out and they put in uh, Daemonheim, I really wanted it to be somewhere else, maybe like outside of the current RuneScape continent or island. And then, and then from there, you actually integrate a whole new part of the game in, into one thing. Instead, what they did was take a part of RuneScape that was already there. I uh, kind of squished it in and then just put a, a new part right next to it. Now I don't like this. One is because it, it didn't really add any adventure. It just kind of reshaped the current or the past landscape. And that kind of degrades the, the, the situation, I guess. Um, you don't really want to see something just get reworked all the time. Like lately they have been constantly reworking the graphics on basically everything. I think the recent one was Birth of... No, that was the recent one, actually. And they are working on some elf stuff and the Gnome Stronghold, uh, especially. Now, in my opinion, I, I would really, really, really enjoy seeing a whole new area added to RuneScape. Like, uh, not... Not like... A new island. I don't want to see like another. I'm, I'm lacking on the name. Brain Death Island. I don't want to see like another Brain Death Island just like thrown randomly out there, where it's a small uh, update. It's just like one quest and you're done. I kind of want to see 
like a whole nother RuneScape to the to the west or to the east of RuneScape. Just like a completely new land uh, with its own story, uh, maybe like a lore of how it was found. And then from there, I want a new skill to come. I want it to be so like if you go and travel to this new place, uh, like one of the big things in um, the community there is to train the skill. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna use hunting as an example for this, but obviously you can't can't remake hunting for a skill. But if you took hunting as an example, um, let's let's assume that it wasn't in the game. And then one day Jagex decides to add a whole new land to the west of uh, Asgarnia or Gilinor. I don't remember. Um, but so they do that and then you have to take a boat over there. And it's a huge land. It's basically like it's basically like a whole other continent on that side. And it contains uh, some woodland stuff and some desert. And basically just mainly those two things uh, not not like a wilderness you don't want another wilderness because the wilderness has its own story of Outwars Dungeon you don't really need anything icy I guess you can put some icy stuff up top but just mainly put the two the two things I just mentioned woodlands and desert and then from there you you meet the first person that you meet is kind of like a new tour guide uh, like the lumberage guides and stuff but this this one explains like a little bit more of the lore there, uh, maybe some some of the reason why you're there, like explain how the elves or something had found that land recently, and that one of their new practices was this skill, and from that you start learning how to hunt. They teach you how to, or the NPCs show you how to hunt, and you basically go on the game like that. But I want this to be with a new skill, so. So imagine, I, I can't really think of a new skill off the top of my head. I'm sure someone can uh, out of the Jagex, Jagex staff, but personally I can't. Um, so, give me a second. Maybe just like... No, yeah, I, I can't think of anything. But once you do get a new skill set up, just have it be a big part of that place. Like... Make it so you can't really train that skill if you're on um, Gilinor. I, I should really look up the the continent that RuneScape is, but I'm already in this, this video, so I'm going to finish it first. So I want it so that it's it's a big enough part of uh, the skill, or, or all of the skill. I want it to at least be a majority, that it's important that people are actually on that island. I want it to be more of a um, more of a place where people can also go. That it it's it's fun, I guess. You get a new sense of adventure, and I feel like some people are actually looking for this. I, I know that if Jagex decided to add in a whole new area that's just massive, and gave us so much more, uh, so many more resources and places to explore, that I would be just ecstatic. Um, also. With this, I want the new quest or the new skill to come out, or a, a new skill to come out, and I, I think they could really run on this idea, in my opinion. Um, another thing that I, I would like to see that that's pretty much my first idea. Now, another thing that I'd like to see that I have been trying to get into the game for like four years now is a light and day or a day and night feature. <laughs> I think the reason why they can't do this is because you you can't change your screen specifically for night and day and then have everyone else not I guess like I, I would personally enjoy a uh, button that you just click and it goes to nighttime or you click and it goes to daytime um, I, I think that'd be a cool idea but I'm not sure how it would work if say two people are on the same server one's on night one's on day and then they run across each other would that just is that like the problem that Jagex has or are they just unwilling to throw that feature in I, I just I think that'd be cool in my, in my opinion I don't want that to happen uh, along with that comes weather and those are just kinda like the basic things that I think RuneScape still needs um, 
Uh, now I'm going to compare this to how Jagex, how Jagex has currently been developing their game. Uh, let's see, we had recently some quests come out about fire makers that I haven't done. There has been a um, another quest about the Tazar creatures, which I also have not done. And the main reasons why I haven't done those, uh, I don't find them appealing. I'm not. Uh, someone said there was some Majorat stuff in the Fire Maker one, but I just don't see it as a big quest. I, I don't really need anything from there. I don't want to try for that new cape because honestly, one jet is hard enough. I don't know how how the hell I'm going to get through two of them, let alone have enough money or armor or gear to get to the new boss. And I don't care enough to go get that cape. So, uh, that I mean, just like they've been adding these content updates to the game that I, I personally can't just I I can't it, they don't resonate with me. I I see the content updates. Uh, they've been updating some graphical changes, and uh, I think that's good and everything for the game. But I I just it's nothing new. Now, even old players like myself, I think it's been six years now, uh, we need something new, at least, just just to get us going again. Like, I I could, ah, it, it's back to the, the part where it's just, I've explored RuneScape so often, I, I don't even know what to do anymore in RuneScape. Like, if, if I, I'm used to bossing, I, I've done, I've killed every boss in the game, including next uh, I don't go next that often because I don't have overloads but I, I went to one mass once and it wasn't wasn't the best because I don't have overloads so my stats were one <laughs> but uh, but I, I've killed the bosses I, I've soloed corp um, I've soloed Bando, Sammy, Arma uh, I actually haven't been to Sardaman I just realized but I don't really want to because nothing there appeals to me. But I've killed TDs, DKs, uh, just multiple times. I've done a majority of the quests and I find them really actually fantastic. There's another thing that you can add into the new area. If, if Jagex were to add a whole new area to the game, not, not like some little island, but something that's like either half the size of RuneScape or the size of RuneScape, like anywhere between a half and a whole another RuneScape on an island far away from it. Oh god, that would be honestly fantastic. You could actually have sailing. <laughs> you, you could have sailing as a skill for that. that. That could be one of their main practices. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. But I, I just feel like that would be a much wiser kind of uh, way to spend their time instead of redeveloping all these things in the game that aren't necessarily uh, that aren't necessarily appealing to everyone they add in they add in content that specifically targets one group one group of people the last update targeted um, new players with the birth up, up update and it targeted extremely high level players with the I don't remember what it was called. Tis Tisket, I think. Tisket something. Uh, Yatar Har. I, I don't remember. But extremely high high level players with that new new Jad and the new Fire Cape kind of situation. And before that, with the Fire Maker's quest, they targeted um, <coughs> medium level players that really have no time on their hands or just wanted a quest cape. Uh, no offense to anyone that did that quest, but in my opinion, I just I feel like bringing an update to the game where you bring a whole new area in, uh, you can you can start a new series of quests in there. You can start so many new quests that begin with um, that begin with uh, like a smaller quest like like cook or chef's assistant or cook's assistant to Gilinor as in something else to the new uh, the new place. Uh, excuse me for a second. <coughs> hmm. 
talking too much, my throat, my throat gets uh, dry. But you have so many new possibilities with the new place that it's just ridiculous not to add it, in my opinion. And uh, it's not like I'm saying abandon RuneScape and just start focusing on this new place. I would say put in content at the same time that affects um, the current placement of RuneScape. But a majority of the time, you should start focusing on new things. Not like give up on the redevelopment. Um, if I had, if I had the choice, I would make a new section of grouping for people that would just strictly focus on this, uh, on this area, and then I would have uh, another group of people that focused on RuneScape, and then I would have some people that brainstormed for both of them. And there could there could be ways that you could even connect it to really easily actually, and I it's just to me it seems like a good idea, and I think I'm going to finish with that idea right there. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this honestly. If it's a really good idea, I'm I'm really gonna push this. I think it's a honestly a fantastic idea. You can bring a new skill, you can start a new kind of series, you can make a huge huge lore out of it. Um, and you you give the adventure back to the new players. I don't want like a new dungeon that they keep on adding. They're like, oh yeah, new dungeon, new dungeon. Just like, oh god, no. Just give us like a a new mainland. That seems kind of cool. Yeah, beaches. A, a lot of beaches. I think that'd be kind of nice. Um, but but you just get so much new variety to the game that it's kind of needed. But anyways, yeah, so thank you guys for listening to me for up to 17 minutes now. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Um, tell me what you guys think. And tell me if you have any ideas of yourself. Also, if you think I should really, really promote this idea, I will spend the next... <coughs> sorry, my throat again. I will spend the next uh, while trying to get this idea across to Jagex. And I will, I will do it with a passion. I have, um, I have a persistency that uh, some women don't like, and <laughs> that sounded really bad. But I, I, I can at least get them to notice it or look at it. I could try. So if you guys, if you guys like the idea, I'd like the support. And thank you guys for listening again. Give me your ideas. Go. Thank you.